welcome back, Alicia here. I am on my way into Ikea, as you saw from the previous little clip. I'm just gonna go check out some of their plant accessories and I thought I would bring you along. Let's go. Things so popular here. It's so odd to me. I see this in a lot of people's homes. I remember in the beginning of my plant journey, I loved using pebbles to decorate my pots. I actually recently got rid of some pebbles that I had, but these are pretty neat. Hmm. Should I bring back the pebbles? Finally, the section I've been waiting on. So that's all the faux plants. I'm actually going to start with the real plants. They have some Leka here. I've officially given up on attempting to use Leka because it's just not my my jams, not my expertise, not something that is gonna work out for me. So here's some woven baskets. Here's some of the real plants. BOP. nursery without some pothos plants. They have a ton here. Have some ZZs. Cylindrical Santeveria. Some peace lilies. of faux plants just in case if that's something you're into i was actually considering a faux plant for our bedroom so i really like that um fiddle leaf thing that's really cute so 
Here are those gold pots that I saw earlier. Really cute and simple. I have a ton of face planters, so sometimes I like incorporating some more simple pots just so it's not like extremely busy. And I have some white ones and silver. There's that one that I saw earlier. This one's a little bigger than what I saw before. This is really cute. It has a lot of weight to it too. This one is really pretty. I like this. It's always hard to tell the price of some of these things because they're not always placed in the light area. I feel like this one is like a classic IKEA pot that has dirt in it. These are cute. These are like a basket weave material. Really cute. Some more plain pots. This one is nice. I saw something similar to this at Target in the dollar spot. I believe they were five bucks and they were smaller. These little watering cans are so cute, but they're so tiny. Not very functional, but cute if you want to use it as like a decor piece. Like how much water could this possibly hold, but it's adorable. I like a little pink one. There's some more watering cans. I actually have this one at home that I rarely ever use. These are pretty interesting, these watering cans. Pretty cool. These are nice. These VOPs, these are 45. But they're like a nice size. Really pretty. Really huge leaves. Hey guys, so I am back home finally. I wanted to show you guys what I got from Ikea. Just picked up a few things, not as much as I thought I was gonna get. Before I show you the items, I was this close to getting this beautiful snake plant, the one that I showed you in the video and I'll insert it right here. It was such a gorgeous plan, but I just figured, you know what? I have enough plans. It's not, it wasn't necessarily on my wish list of plans this year, so I decided not to get it. They had some bird of paradise plants, a beautiful big one that I showed you guys. Um, I believe it was like 45 bucks, but it was beautiful, had gorgeous large leaves. But again, I decided to pass and just kind of wait. I prefer not to get any new plans, at least none on my wish list, at least. Now I kind of want to wait until the spring so I can go to different places, different nurseries, and really pick something that I really really love and you know one that just kind of works for my home but anyways let's get into the haul all right so the first thing I have here are these blue Ikea bags because how can you go to Ikea and not get these bags it's such an oddly shaped bag but it fits so much stuff so whenever we're giving away or just need to transport large items we always take these bags and the bags are only a dollar they used to be 50 cents, but they're now a dollar each. So usually whenever I go to Ikea, I always get at least two of them. So one of them is open because I used it to carry my things. And then I have the other one down there. So this is the first item. I also ended up getting these little planters here. I just really fell in love with these when I saw them. They're pretty plain, as you can see, really nothing special about it. And I love the fact that they put the size of the planter four and a quarter inches. So like these, I have a snake plant that I'm going to need to repot and size down just because that snake plant has been overwatered. Um, so I just need to get rid of some of the damaged leaves and I think I'm definitely going to put it inside one of these. As you can see, it doesn't have a drainage hole, but that's fine because I usually keep all of my plants in nursery pots, kind of like this one, as you can see here. So I don't mind that it doesn't have drainage holes because I rarely plant my plants directly inside of the pot. So I just got two of these. I also got this little um, tea candle holder, 
or it's like a small candle holder. You just kind of put the candle obviously in here, but I didn't get it for that reason. I got it because I wanted to put it in my daughter's bathroom so I can put her earrings on this little plate whenever I um, do her hair. I usually take her earrings out. Once I take this sticker off, then it'll be you know completely clear. So I'm just gonna put it on her little bathroom countertop and just put her jewelry in here whenever I'm washing her hair. Next up, I got these little whiteboard markers. I feel like working from home, you can never have enough whiteboard markers. I got this one for myself, you know, just with some primary colors, and it also comes with a dry eraser on the back. And I got these bright neon colors for my daughter. She has, I purchased a little um, dry erase board for her room just so she can practice her handwriting and, you know, writing her letters and numbers. So I thought these colors were really cute. I'm curious to see how the yellow one shows up, but got this for her, got this one for me. And like I said, this one comes with an eraser. I got this table runner and I'll zoom in on the picture so you can kind of see the design or kind of see what a table runner is if you're not familiar. I got this pattern because I currently have this pattern in regular placemats. So I love this design. I use the placemats more so for decoration because if I leave it there, my daughter, she will definitely stain it up. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like on my little dining nook. But I wanted this table runner just because, again, I love this pattern. It's just such a beautiful chevron-like pattern and black and white can never go wrong. There's the size if you're interested. And this was only $5.99. I got a table runner recently from TJ Maxx and it was 15 bucks. And the quality of it wasn't as thick as this one. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's a steal. Also got some picture frames, and I mainly got this for my daughter's room. We took her to um, the Nickelodeon Universe theme park, and she took pictures with a lot of the characters. And I did send them to CVS to have them developed, which I need to check on that because they should have been ready yesterday. So I got her four white 4x6 four picture frames so I can put her little photos in um, and put it in her room. And then I got her these 8x10s. I'm not particularly too fond of the color, but I didn't see it in white or black. So I just got these. And this is for some of her um, school pictures that she took the past couple of years. So I just thought that'll be cute to get those and hang them up on her walls. All right, guys, that's everything that I got from my Ikea trip. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If not, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.